you must be just delighted to get back on a football pitch again, Kyle, just now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's been a hard year for me, obviously. Doing my ACL and then coming here, starting to get in the team and then doing my hamstring. It's, it was difficult, but the medical team have been brilliant with me and they took their time with me and um, I'm feeling good now. Are you now in a position where physically you feel you are ready for a a long run in the team, you know, without any little niggles? Yeah, well, I felt that last month. I felt like I was starting to get back to full fitness. My hamstrings were feeling good and there was like no, no sign of it happening and just out of the blue in training, um, kind of tweaked my hamstring. So it was a bit of a blow, but I feel, I feel very good again. Um, my strength in my legs is, is much better than what it's been previously. So hopefully there's no more injuries and I can get a good run in the team. How cautious did you have to be during that spell out of um, ensuring that when you did come back, you know, there wasn't going to be a recurrence of, of ACLs because it, it can happen? Yeah, well, you just need to just need to work, work as hard as you can, do everything that the, the physios and the medical staff tell you because they're the professionals at the end of the day and you just need to work as hard as you can, listen to them. and It's, it's in God's hands after that if you get injured again, but... I've, I've done everything that I can to prevent it happening, so hopefully no more. You've got a lot to look forward to, haven't you, this season at, at Hibs? And you, you win in, uh, tomorrow, you go back into second place again in the league. You're in the League Cup semi-final where, who knows, you could come up against your old club in the final. Um, yeah. it's, 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 it could be a really good five, five six months for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, we're obviously in such good form and We've got massive games coming up. Um, as you said, we can go back in the second if we win tomorrow. And I, I think we're in good form and I think we're capable of doing that. Thanks, Kyle. Kyle, how frustrating is it when you, you come to a new club and you're desperate to, to make an impression and, and you get these kind of injuries? Yes, yeah, it's, it's mega frustrating. But um, the gap is a positive that I've worked with, with the gaffer before. Um, it would be a bit different if I was coming into a team that I didn't know the manager. They'd be looking saying maybe he's a bit injury prone, but the gaffer knows how hard I work and he's got trust in me. So I just need to try and read him. That help you through the whole situation? Yeah, definitely. Having the back in there and I know a few of the boys as well. And um, all the new boys that I've met have all been brand new with me and welcomed me in and been supportive of me. So it's always a bonus. And does that make you now, I suppose, even more determined to, to show what you can do? Yeah, I've always been determined, but um, just always coming back from an injury. You've got to try and prove that you were the player that you were before the injury, so hopefully I can do that. It was a good run of games coming up. I take it that's you know, something you want to get your teeth right into over this festive period? Yeah, definitely. Um, good, good games coming up. Obviously, the semi-final, and we've got a good um, run of league games. And we're in a good run of form, so hopefully we can take as many points as possible from them and hopefully we can progress to the final. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kyle, obviously having an ACL at any time is not ideal, but if you throw a pandemic into the middle of it, it's probably less ideal than it ever could be. Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't ideal at all. Um, I think it was two, month, uh, two weeks after my operation that we went into lockdown, so... I was just working as hard as I could at the back garden, um, try to rehab my knee and the physio was keeping in contact with me, but it's just not as ideal being in and getting hands-on treatment. Is, um, it, it didn't really help, help hold me back, to be fair. I came back within six months and my knee's feeling good. So I was going to say, that, did your rehab have to sort of, obviously you can do it a wee bit on your own, but it's not the same as being in a training ground every day and working on it with a specialist. Yeah, it wasn't really my knee that was bothering me, it was everything else. Like just once once you have a knee problem, everything else in your leg starts to lock up, like hamstrings, quads, everything like that. So it was quite challenging to try and rehab that in the back garden. You can get hands on contact with a physio to loosen you off and stuff like that. But I feel like I, I worked as I worked as hard as I could, my knee's feeling good and um yeah. It was it um I brought she did that um, against Rangers? Yeah, very start of the game, which wasn't ideal. Had to get stretched off, and it was a big game as well. But these things happen for a reason. So hopefully, I can come back and show how good a player I am. 
I know you'll be looking to Dundee United this week, but what, Rangers next week, that one must be a, a bit of a weird moment for you heading into that game, given everything that's going on. Yeah, um, I'm, got, I'm quite confident that we can take the three points tomorrow. We've been in um, good form and we really need the three points to keep pushing. Um, I know people are looking at third and fourth place, but I, I think we, we're capable of keep winning games and never know what can happen. Maybe we can next second place or fourth place, don't know. First place, yeah. But I mean, title winner, Kel McGuinness, has got to be ranked it. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Title winner, Kel McGuinness, it's got to be ranked it. <laughs> We're a few points off now, but you never know what can happen. Obviously, you see Smirin beating Rangers there. The old form are capable of dropping points, so we just need to go into game, every game looking as if we can take the three points and see what happens from there. Okay. Kyle, um, Hearts obviously got a chance to win a trophy tomorrow. Is there a real belief that Hibs can also pick up some silverware this season? Yeah, all, all the boys are in good spirits. We're, we're always confident that we can go into every game and win it. So why not? Why not win the semi-final, go into the final and um, win that? I'm sure, sure the four teams that are left in the tournament are, are going to be confident now that Rangers are put out. But... Um, People will be looking at us as the favourites, and I think I think we're confident of that. Kyle, just before we let you go, it's January when you last played a full ninety minutes in a competitive game. Yep, it was. Yeah, almost a year. That's. Yeah, I know. Does that prey on your mind at all? Um, not really. I'm, I've been training every day, and I'm feeling as fit as what I, what I have been last year. So. Feel like I can last 90 minutes, and if the gaffer wants to play me for 90, I'm, I'm more than happy to do so. Brilliant. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Kyle, you mentioned obviously the, there's a lot to be to look forward to uh, at the minute with the, the semi final and the way you are in the league as well. Is it, does the manager, having worked with him before and known him well, does, that, does he encourage that ambition that you, you have to set yourself lofty targets and just keep pushing and pushing to try and, and believe you can really achieve? Yeah, and um, the gaffer's always confident. I think that. Um, leads on to the boys and training and in games we're always confident and we're a good team and we've showed this season we've took points against Celtic and Rangers so we feel like we're capable of going into every game and getting points.